friends so in this session we will be learning about rest apis in the previous session we studied about soap ui okay now there are some drawbacks of soap ui okay that uh, or we can say rest api is better on top of so upi it is the way rest is in demand is we implement soap in xml so ex to implement xml is itself a lengthy task first thing the second thing is the wsdl file the way we write the code it's very lengthy because it is has to be as per wsdl the many functions which wsdl implements that for every activity there is a function in wsdl so if you want to hit a specific api you have to call that specific api as soap ui maintains or follows the wsdl so the security which is being established using the soap is very good but in case of rest it is very free but using the rest it comes where you are very flexible to changes you can easily modify your apis okay it is very easy to use if i talk about soap more ways comes into the implementation of soap and rest i think this course is not into going the developmental side why the rest is being preferred over soap first you just understand that yes the rest is stateless it does not stores the states it is cacheless cacheless the information is not being stored and there are many other benefits of soap rest sorry rest protocol over soap protocol now the soap is a as we have studied that soap can be implemented in xml similarly rest can be implemented in xml as well as json but 90 more than 90% rest is only implemented in json not xml because json is a very light architecture java architecture uh, when we were using soap the we made this request in case of json it is very simple you have to write something addition first number to so writing of code in json is very easy there is no starting ending tags and one more thing conversion of json objects into java objects is very easy so implementation of rest api with the help of java is also very easy so that's why the rest is in demand so in case of soap we have seen that suppose there were functions add delete etc so for every function if we want to call it we have to make a function here from the website if we want to call this function we will say add function and put the values into it okay this is how the soap work but in case of rest protocol we have only four functions now what these four functions let us stand with crud properties c r u d okay which states c for create uh r for read u for update and d for delete so these are the good properties which are follow in https also sorry http in sql so similarly in rest create we can do any create activity using the rest api using the post request we can read any data from the rest api using the get request similarly update can be done by put and delete can be done by delete any of the activity and this is api so we can communicate with this api with only these four request unlike the soap we have to specify the name Okay. so you see in this a lot of activities make easier so that's why the rest is being followed now let's uh, uh, simple uh, what these are actually post get put delete are post is when to create some information let's say you are on a sign up page 
and you are putting some data into it it will be saved on a server as is you are creating something is known as a post request get request when you want to fetch a request let's say i say uh, this command only when we were booking here and we click on search flights so what the search flight does it does not creating anything it is extracting the information from the different database and displaying to you it is extracting information it is known as a get request when we are getting something post when we are sending something to be saved put request put is almost similar to the post request but in post we were creating something while in put we were updating any information which was saved before like you created the account you sign up for the account it is a post request but when you are updating your email or password that request will go through the put request and this is the delete request as the name suggests it is for deleting something delete a product delete an account so rest apis follows these four request only post get put delete now as we uh, we learned in soap ui we were having a wsdl document this was the document which was given by soap ui to the website so that he can make the commands and can send it how this is done in case of rest in rest there is no wsdl what in rest does developers themselves prepare a document that this is the api the description of it this is the api this is the description for it how to send and receive it okay, in the api document what they mention they mention api name api version these are the minimum things which should be present api uh method that it should be a put or get request or something it should be the api request how the request would be sent api response how this api would response and the api description so for all the apis which are implemented by the developer they will for each api they will give this information to anyone who want to use these apis case of soft protocol there is wsdl while in case of rest protocol there is no wsdl but developers prepare a document name as the api documentation in which they have at least this basic information for every api so as we have seen uh in case of so we go through the calculator uh, web services in your mobile you have many apps now of those apps i can say uh, normally 20 or 30% of the apps are using your location okay you they trace your location or you can tap and your current location is searched now every app is not uh, the every app is does not have the satellite mapping or this gprs system etc no what they do the google have exports its api so this is the google maps this is your mobile applications now all these mobile applications are showing google map this also this also this also so how this that they, they are not implementing google maps what this give is they send request to this google maps because google map has exposed these apis exposed apis or we can say exposed rest apis so it get those information and this api responds back this google if we talk about rest is does not having a wsdl but it should have a document it should have a document that what or all the apis it exposed now let's search let me show you how this document is there let me take uh, google weather okay google weather rest api documentation 
open weather map so here you can see that these are all the apis and they have given the api document for this api doc you see so they are in this they briefly send that by city name if you want to call the current weather data for any location by city name then you have to send a api like this city name you can send it by city id so this type of documentation by geographic codes you can send uh, this will be the response and this is how the request you can send so this is how the the document which is prepared for using the rest apis which is sent uh, to anyone who want to use those services now this website open weather map have exposed these apis anyone can use these apis call these request and it will respond so this is how it works so using the rest is very easy they have just prepared a document everyone is using it but in case of soap it becomes a very complicated so that's why the world is switching for rest and uh, all those which have been using soap are moving to rest but if we talk about security yes soap protocols are very secure that was a brief introduction about the rest web services from the next session we'll be starting how to use web services and uh, how we work with web services how to make an automation suit using the java with the help of web services